Year. What's going on everybody, it's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I'm here to let you guys know about the actual overall ratings for the entire first round of the NBA Draft from EA Sports. Now, I'm guessing that this is NBA Live 13's way of coming back from, I guess you could say, the grave of E3. Now, of course you know EA took advantage of the NBA Draft Day. And, you know, they teamed up with EA Sports and, you know, you know that they have the contract with ESPN. So basically, they're coming out with what the ratings will be for all the rookies starting out from the first round in the draft. Um, of course, for I don't know if they're going to have my player mode or stuff like that. But most likely, when you play with a rookie in the game, these are the overalls that you will see starting out. And, you know, that NBA Live came with the whole, how should I say... I guess they're probably going to update the stats like every day, you know, to players' injuries, how they progress and stuff like that. So hopefully this is something that will be implemented in a game that actually is good enough for the game. Now, one thing I will say, EA Sports. It's in a game, but I don't think that this is really going to be in a game because to tell you the truth, I think that NBA Live will not be a great game. And there's two reasons why I think that EA won't make a great basketball game this year. The first thing is, at E3, this was their chance to actually say, hey, we're back at it. Um, put our names in a ballot. We're coming with a vengeance this year. But at E3, all they did was really disappoint. To tell you the truth, every person that I talked to that went to E3 said that NBA Live 13 was the biggest disappointment that they've seen at E3. They said every single game at E3 was better than NBA Live. The gameplay itself, people told me that what they saw <laughs> looked like NBA Live 08. So to tell you the truth, I can't make my decision on how NBA Live is gonna look, gonna be, will I get it, will I rent it, will I buy it, will I pre-order it. To tell you the truth, I have to wait until the game actually comes out to see what I would do. Until I play that demo, and even with the demo, it may not be all cooked up to what it's supposed to be. So, I'm just saying that, you know, these screenshots and, you know, showing the players overall position and name, you know, sponsored by EA Sports. I just believe that there was some, this was something more than just showing what the overalls of the rookies will be. I think that this was a gimmick to put their names back out there because if you think about it, after E3 and all of the situations that went on there, you kind of forgot about EA and NBA Live 13. Really, to tell you the truth, people wasn't even asking me, AI hey, iPod, when's the next NBA Live 13 video coming out? Because to tell you the truth, they put it in the back of their mind. Some people know that this game isn't going to be great, and some people take it in the fact that 2K made a bad game this year due to passing and, and you know different gameplay issues, and they're hopping on NBA Live's bandwagon. But I just believe that when this game comes out and a lot of people are going to be disappointed, I don't want to hear people saying that, oh, man, NBA Live ain't shit. I don't know why I brought it. I'm going back to 2K. Just make your decision wisely. Don't hop on any bandwagons as of yet. Because just like in the NBA Finals, guys, I heard a lot of people hopping on the KD bandwagon at OKC. And after three games in the NBA Finals, you couldn't tell me that everybody wasn't a LeBron James fan. So please, before you make your decision on what game you're going to get, what you're going to pre-order, who hates what, who hates this, who hates that, just make your decision wisely. But... Back to the screenshots, back to the overall ratings. I will tell you this. I like the ratings myself. Um, I did see the NBA 2K mock draft. And the ratings are, you know, kind of similar. But to tell you the truth, I think that EA is just putting the highest point on a player's rating that they can. Instead of really going in and checking out what a real player's overall really is and, and how to critique it. But this is IKC signing out. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Peace.